Hey guys, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. In this video, I'm going to write a program to show you the string functions. So without wasting time, let's right jump into it. Open Visual Studio. Create a new project. Click on console app. Give the project name as string functions. Click on create. Your project is now ready. So let's start to write the program to demonstrate the string functions. I will remove this hello world last statement. Okay. Now I'm going to declare two strings string s1 equals to learn s2 equals to with maktum okay so there are two strings s1 and s2 now what we are going to do is one by one we are going to perform operations on it okay now say s1 dot now you want to know the index of a character okay for that i said there is something called as index of so you have to specify a character here in the learn string i can know the index of any character now i am specifying a so this function should give me the index of character a in the S1 okay so if I say this it will not print anything so we have to write that console dot right line statement here console dot right line yes clear with that what it will do it will print the index of character A clear with that okay okay for better understanding i will print a statement here that is the index of character a is okay now it will print a statement that the index of character A is the per index will be printed. Clear with that? Okay. Now, now I want to concatenate both the strings S1 and S2. Yes, we can do that using concat function. Yes we have to say string dot there is something called as concat here we are going to pass the strings which you want to concat which you want to concat here yes one and yes two you want to concat yes now you put this function call inside the console dot right line You can directly print or you can store it in some variable and then you can print. No problem in that. Okay. Play with that. What this statement will do? It will concatenate strings. Play with that. Okay. Now. Now I want to know that our first string that is learn. Is it beginning with L or not? Or to check it so there is something called as starts with yes 
here also you're going to mention a character say L okay the result I want to be printed on the console so I will say console dot right line I'm going to put it inside the this what it will do it will check whether the first character first character is same as specified character what is the specified character here that is L leave that okay for the outputs of these functions now that is index of concat and starts with So the first line it is printing what the index of character A is 2. Then now here learn with Maktum. It is concatenated. Then true. It means the first character is L itself and the specified character both are same. Yes, that's what it is saying. True. Clear with that? Okay, now here. now we will check ends with function so this function will check whether the specified character is there at the end of the string or not say in the s1 what is there at the end n is there okay i will check for m whether my first string contains m at the end of the string okay so i want the output to be printed on console I will say console dot right line clear with that okay what this line will do to check whether the last character in is the same as specified character okay yes now moving on to the next function now we are going to compare both the strings if we will say s1 dot compare to s1 dot compare to s2 so what here this compare to function is doing it will compare this s1 with s2 okay actually we should not put if condition here here we are going to store the result because the compare to function will return an integer i will declare int variable int result equals to s1 dot compared to of s2 yes now we are going to check the result variable if result is equals to 1 means what both the strings are same or equal so we will print console dot right line both strings are equal okay else console dot right line strings are not equal clear with this okay let me check with these functions now okay I will write the comment here returns integer after comparing 
okay yes let me run this whether it will print both strings are equal or strings are not equal let's see learn and with maktum both are different no so it should print what strings are not equal so let's see what it will print yes here you can see the first one is what index of function then we have uh, concat function then this one is true why because uh, it is starting with l then ends with function it is returning false why because it is not ending with m yes then compared to function it is saying strings are not equal clear with that okay now moving on this is one more function that is called as equals which does the same operation okay now i am going to declare two more string variables string s3 equals to else s3 and s4 and i am going to initialize them to x y z okay play with that now i am going to compare them using equals function okay equals function will return boolean okay you can store the result in boolean then compare or directly you can put that in if condition if s3 dot equals of s4 okay you can directly put it in a conditional statement because it returns boolean you can directly put it in conditional statement means what if this will return either true or false no if the condition is true if part get executed else the else part will get executed so now true means what both are equal so print that statement console dot write line both strings are equal okay else console dot write line not equal clear with that what may be the output of this both strings are equal okay yes now moving on to the next type of function now say i want to check my string whether contains the specified character or not so for that i will say s3 dot contains is a function called as contains you're going to specify a character here say my s3 is containing x or not i want to check okay so it will also return either true or false if the character is there it will return true if it is not then it will return false okay console dot write line yes okay i hope i am clear with this okay let's execute it Yeah, here you can see both strings are equal and true means my string contain the specified character clear with that okay now I want to convert this s3 to all uppercase now we will try to convert s3 string to uppercase how to do that so you say s3 dot there's a function called as 
to upper means it will convert the whole string to upper case characters okay so now we are going to print that console dot right line okay and you can see this uh, s1 and s2 here okay any one of them you can consider the capital letters are there no here l is capital and here m is capital now i want all the letters to be in lower case you can do that using two lower function so you can say s1 dot two lower function which will convert the all characters to lower case so i will say console dot right line here Okay, I will write the comments here. I forgot to write. So this contains function will check whether the specified character is present in given string or not. Okay. Then to upper will convert the string to uppercase letters then to lower will convert the string to lowercase letters okay don't worry about the code i will be giving the code in the description you can download the code and you can check clear with that so i hope i'm clear with the two upper and two lower let's execute and finish up with string functions i have discussed the main string functions which you will be using regularly clear with that so run it Here you can see x, y, z is in capital letters and the learn is in small letters. Play with that. So this is all about the string functions. Okay, we have discussed the index of function, concat function, then starts with, ends with, compares, then equals, then contains then we have discussed about two lower and two upper case i hope i'm clear with the functions okay so this is all about this video we are going to do some exercise on string functions in the next video so i hope you like this video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to click on subscribe and bell icon i'm going to see you in the next video thank you for watching